Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Che and this is my very first portable Nintendo GameCube system, the C-Cube, which stands for Compact Cube. I started this like 15 months ago um, and it was supposed to be a two week project uh, that was just a simple little mod, but uh, it ended up turning into a full fleshed portable and uh, yeah, I originally made it from a telephone answering machine case that I bought for like 50 bucks or 50 cents um, at a used thrift store. Um, and it looked terrible in every way possible, so then I uh, modified the case big time using what I've coined as the hail razor method, which consists of using a bunch of different types of cement and sanding it down and painting a bunch of coats to make it look uh, shiny, which is how it looks now. Um, yeah, so be sure to check out Hail Razor on YouTube. He makes a bunch of portable uh, gaming systems, including GameCubes, and uh, he, his work is just amazing. So uh, yeah, check him out. Um, yeah, so it's your standard uh, Nintendo GameCube system put inside of a case that I have modified and has a three and a half inch LCD screen, uh, your standard start button, normal buttons, um, L and R on the back work fine, um, and I position them so that, you know, it feels pretty, pretty comfy with, you know, the way your hands rest holding the case, it feels pretty natural. Um, and this is the Z button, uh, put it right where your middle finger naturally rests, so that's good. Um, here's a disk drive. It works normally like a normal disk drive should. Um, yeah, and it's kind of squishy too to have some give. And right here is the open-close switch um, in case you have a game that has multi-discs and you need to open or close the disk drive. It's useful. Four uh, screw holes, and I'm probably gonna put something different, uh, something black underneath these to make it look prettier. Um, yeah, another vent there, little vent there, a C. Uh, speaker holes, another speaker there, um, and here we have the memory card slot, headphone jack, and this was originally going to be for the battery charge port, but I ended up not putting in batteries because there just wasn't enough room. Um, so instead we use this power jack where you just put in um, power cord, and it works like normal. So yeah, uh, I've talked a lot, so I'm going to show you guys the C-Cube in action. So here you go. <laughs> I've never actually played this game before, don't kill me, um, but my roommate Adam has, so he's got a nice save file on it. So yeah, basically I have no idea what I'm doing. I think you're supposed to like take these barrels and hide or something. That was like when he was playing it, I remember him doing that. Um, I'm supposed to stop. Okay. Yeah. Cool stuff. This is a different map. Um, yeah. And I think I just got captured. <laughs> Whatever, let's put in a game I actually know how to play um, legitimately. One of my favorite games for the GameCube.
Fendrana Drifts. Believe it or not, that's how far I got the last time I played this. I actually had the C-Cube working like five months ago, but it had some huge problems and I had to fix them. Which also explains why there's been so many delays, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so where I am in the game, this entire file has been played on a portable GameCube. And I'm probably going to try to beat the whole thing on a portable GameCube. And actually, this is probably one of my favorite parts in this game. Because it's where the game starts really getting good, in my opinion. Super missiles. Yay. Super missiles, cool. Uh, let's go get the heat visor thingy. Oh yeah, I forgot to fix the... For some reason, the visor thing was weird. Okay, there we go. This is where things get really bad. I think it's where you get the heat visor. Yeah, that up button doesn't like to work. There we go. Yeah, these are always mushy. Took me a while to get it right, but it's still kind of mushy. Not a big deal, though. Oh, this is where things get bad. Crap. I'm not really trying that hard, just so you guys know. <laughs> Alright, I want to show you guys one more game. This is taking forever and I'm getting my butt kicked. Uh, so let's see, what game do I want to show you guys? Let's show you guys something different you don't normally see on a portable GameCube. A game that's very, very popular. Hold on one second. But I haven't seen it on a portable GameCube yet. Resident Evil 4. Oh, no. Sorry, I had to. Okay, let's do it again. I know, I'm pretty demented. I'm sorry, everybody does it. Everybody that's ever played Resident Evil 4 has killed Ashley. Come on. Or looked up her skirt or whatever. Alright, I won't go there. It's actually been... Oh, by the way, I played this entire file on the C-Cube as well. Um, I don't... Oh, crap. I hate this part. There's some bad people out there.
Oh yeah, knife's not gonna do much. Oh, he's a goober. Let's get him. Oh crap, kick. Right. Oh crap. There we go. All right, let's go. Ashley, don't be stupid. Be on your toes. Oh crap. Old lady. Okay, let's get him. Don't be a goober. Oh, he's a goober. Crap. Crap. Son of a gun. Ah! This isn't too good. Alright, Ashley, come on, we're going upstairs. No! No! It's really hard to do that on a portable. I don't want to, like, go crazy with the controller, you know? Ashley, whatever. Fend for yourself. I don't care what happens to you. I'm staying safe up here. Dang it. Well, that's my portable GameCube, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I guess it's for sale. Whatever, send me an offer. I guess. Um, yeah. That's a portable GameCube for you. Um, I'm gonna make many more, and they're gonna be way smaller than this and way better because of some cool people coming up with some great mods for this where you don't even need a disk drive. So yeah, um, this video's gone on for a long time. I hope you enjoyed watching, and yeah, that's the C-Cube. Yay. Bye-bye.